athletes call it being in the zone. We call it being in the driver's seat. The new G35, with a sport-tuned suspension and the most powerful V6 in its class. The G35, from Infinity. East meets West in our second match of our second show on women's five pin. Yvette McClellan in the blue from Sudbury, Ontario. The number three seed takes on Karen Armstrong of Winnipeg in the green. She's the number six seed. Team goal of the Canadian Open in 2000 for Yvette McClellan as she begins on the left lane. Cross it over. Oh yeah, and it did do that. Little bit of a backup, got decent movement on the ball went from almost looking like it was going to be in the left hand pocket all the way to the right side and good reaction karen armstrong no stranger to television bowling four appearances on the tsn pins game she's won just over four thousand dollars no stranger yes. to big time competition two-time masters nationals singles champion She's come up against the best in Canada and come out on top on a number of occasions. A very impressive bowling resume. Karen Armstrong, clerk for the Manitoba Liquor Control Commission when she's not bowling, trying for the double. Yes, 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 yes. A great start. Really, two super balls she just threw. Left hand pocket. Good follow through and extension. Winnipeg ladies have a great history in both C5 and Masters. And uh, we talk about, you know, coaches and everything else. Trace Winnipeg's great bowlers to Dylas Turner. Yvette McClellan now trying for the double herself. Got it hard. Oh, yeah. Left hand pocket, another great shot. These two ladies look right, ready to go. A little bit of a stutter step, three step approach in there. End result is she gets to the foul line in good shape, good release position. Whatever works. Yvette McClellan now trying for three in a row. Cross over. over her. Ball slipped away a little bit on her, got the right hand side thin and going away. Leaves herself the right corner pin. Didn't hang Yvette. Again, a backup bowler. Ball's moving from left to right on the lane. Miss your target like she did a little bit on the right, and the ball will slide away on you. There's the shot. Counts 15. Cleans up and sits down with a total of 86. And that brings up Karen Armstrong, who perfect through two frames trying to keep it going trying for the triple with her first ball in the third frame two perfect games to her credit don't want to put the jinx on her at this point trying to stay perfect here thank you <laughs> big break on this one Pretty much straight end over end Ooh. roll from Karen, but she's got such great lift on the ball. She's picking the right angles. Gets a break on that left three pin off the wall and into the rubber band. Thought she was gonna do some damage to her right shoulder there. <laughs> she ran that one out for sure. Yes. 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 Going away, right hand side. She's lined up and taking advantage of both pockets and good roll on the ball. She is pumped and she's using that energy well right now. Four strikes in a row, put, putting a lot of early pressure on Yvette McClellan, who was open in the third, strikes in the first and second. This is her first ball in the fourth frame. That time she was about third arrow from the left hand gutter and the ball just never came back. 
to make sure of this spare. She's already in a hole, and if you have another open frame, it makes it that much deeper. Well, miss left again. Telling okay. herself to slow down. Yeah, she's going a little bit too quick with her feet, and what happens is then your arm swings behind that, and it's tough to catch up and get your release position proper. And she knew that was on the money. But open frames in the third and fourth after striking in the first and second. She goes back to work in the fifth frame, and the way Karen Armstrong is bowling, she needs some strikes now. Better shot. Over, hard. Well, she was looking for the slide, didn't quite get it. Thick almost got it to the right hand side on that crossover. Head pin split here. She'll go after the left 3 2. Now you can see the way she finished that shot off. She was trying to force it to get over there. <sighs> Started out in pretty good shape. She was really freewheeling the ball. Now starting to struggle here a little bit. Takes out the 3-2 on the left side, but leaves the right corner. So it's three open frames in a row for Yvette McClellan. And that brings up Karen Armstrong, who is trying to stay perfect with her fifth strike in a row. This is our second match of our second show, Women's Five Pin. And the star so far is Karen Armstrong. Trying to stay perfect. Side it! Thank you! <laughs> Got a little bit of a break there. She knew she had to be on the side. Drove the head pin back, but uh, got a break on that left side, 3-2. Karen may be looking for a little bit of payback here, Steve. Back in the ladies' team event at the Canadian Fives in 2000, Yvette McClellan's team beat Karen Armstrong's team in the finals. Well, revenge is sweet at any time, and right now it looks as if Armstrong is on her way to the semifinal against McClellan. Chevy Silverado 1500 Crew Cab has more standard muscle than Ford or Dodge half-ton crews. That's why it's the right truck. From Chevy, for all life's roads. Aeroplan Plus cards. They offer up to 60% more Aeroplan miles, so you earn miles faster. Then everything gets closer. What would happen if every woman in the world tried new Oral-B Rembrandt whitening strips? What would happen if they each experienced the unique design that form fits to your teeth, fitting every smile beautifully so they whiten in just five days? What would happen on that fifth day if a single smile can light up a room? Well... Their smiles would light up the world. Oral B Rembrandt Whitening Strips, a whole new world of white. Where is it written that luxury is only for the few? Where is it written that style can't have substance? If it is written somewhere, we're rewriting the book. Kia Amanti. Four strikes in a row. 
throw and then a spare. This is the first ball in the sixth frame for Karen Armstrong. Two. Yeah, missed it. She was left of the center arrow that time. And with that straight end over end roll, if you miss your mark, you've got no chance to get back to, to the pocket. Maintain this lead, needs the spare here in the sixth frame. Cover it. Thank you. Yeah. Talking as you're really trying to work the ball. All marks so far for Armstrong. Two spares and four strikes. McClellan open in the third, fourth, and fifth frames. She had strikes in the first and second. She'd like one here in the sixth frame. Forced that one again, left. Second time she's missed left. And both of them on lean 10. After a good start, she seems to be just uh, pushing it a little bit, not the freewheeling. Four for six on the middle. Oh, good try on that spare. Right pocket to try and convert this. Well, you heard her say she was digging a hole. And she certainly has with four open frames in a row <coughs> as she moves over to the left line here at Bolorama Bayfield looking for some marks. Any kind of marks, strikes would be nice. She started with two in a row in the first and second frame. And really made two great shots, even frame three when she left that right corner. She made a good shot on it, but now really struggling to find the middle. And this happens, even to the good ones. And Yvette McClellan is a good bowler, but just not having a good day. Well, and, and the speed that they bowl this at in match play like this, you bowl two frames at a time, you really got to stop, collect your thoughts. Don't, don't get up there in a big rush. There's something wrong. Let's try and fix it here. Finally, another mark. And it's a spare, and it comes in the seventh frame, but she's up against... A bowler who is bowling well. All marks so far for Karen Armstrong. Four strikes in a row. That's the way she started. And then spares in the fifth and sixth. Now her first ball in the seventh frame. Center. No, missed it. Just a little bit drift to the right on that one. Two misses in a row. One left. Now this one right. Better shot on the inside. Covers up the spare. And that's the difference, isn't it? When she has missed with that opening ball, she's always come back with the second ball for the spare. Well, that's right. No open frames now through seven. But when you start with four in a row and you throw the ball well, get a couple of breaks, certainly helps the confidence and you do start to freewheel it. You struggle, then you start to force either the spin or the location. Yeah, that's the first time we've seen her do that. Well, she did get one break coming back off the head pin off the back wall, got the left three pin, and just about got the corner pin. Sure. She'll take the extra count on that spare in seven. Three, two on the right. Left corner pin standing. Clean up the wood. She knows she's still very much in control. Well done. No mistakes so far for Karen Armstrong. And she sits down with a total of 238 with two frames remaining. Yvette McClellan working on a spare with her first ball in the eighth frame.
Karen Armstrong looking at the uh, scoreboard, trying to figure out the possibilities, what she needs to shut Yvette McClellan out. Two, please. Now, that's please. making it a little bit easier, too. Yeah, she was hoping that left corner would drop. You were going to slow down. Three in a row now. She's missed the head pin on the left side. The mind is saying slow down, but the body is just not responding. Nicely done. Nice spare for Yvette McClellan, her second in a row. Things happen when you throw the ball right. This one. She makes a great shot on the spare and gets a bit of a break, head pin off the back wall. And sometimes a break is all you need to get back. Well, like she said, things happen when you throw things right. Now, force that one again. Just her release position just doesn't look comfortable. Well, if she can take down the three remaining pins, it'll be her third spare in a row. Small consolation for Yvette McClellan. Hit it! Wow. It's been that kind of day. It really has. Yeah, after getting out to such a great start. That's the better shot. Picks up 15 in the ninth frame and goes to 182, and that brings up Karen Armstrong. Still has a potential 328 in this game. Coming off an open frame, this is her first ball in the ninth. All she's got to do is stay behind the foul line, Steve. Great shot. And follow it up with a shot like that. She knows she's got this match won. Now it's all about making good shots, getting ready, having some confidence going into the next match against Elaine Godmare. And that's the semifinal. And the winner of that will take on Shelly Bear in the final for the $10,000 and the title. Another great ball. She's getting excellent roll. She's got a couple of breaks, but she's helping out by getting the ball in the right location. Four strikes in a row to start. Strikes in the ninth and tenth. This is her second ball in the tenth. It's a head pin. Second one of the match. Both of them coming on lane nine and both head pin splits. side for 304. Winnipeg's Karen Armstrong cruising to a 304 total as she sits down. Yvette McClellan will come up to finish things off. Can't win, but she'd like to go out with a little better performance. That's been her problem. Just been going too fast. But she knows it. She's been saying that since the fourth frame, but she just can't seem to slow down. Maybe a little TV it over. You know, getting going too fast. Yeah, television does strange things to people in athletics. We've seen it happen in so many different sports, and it certainly affected Yvette McClellan today in her match. Cleans up, but the best she can do is a 197, and that is not nearly good enough to beat Karen Armstrong of Winnipeg, Manitoba. Armstrong with four strikes in a row and a strong finish to wind up with a 304 total. Compare that to Yvette McClellan's 197, and it's Armstrong who goes to the semi.